Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're staying safe and staying at home during this time of social distancing. I know it can be boring, so here are a hundred things that you can do while you're bored at home. So the first thing you can do is go through some of your old family photo albums. You can message a celebrity like John Krasinski and let them know how much you love them. You can also get some family and create some old family photos or just old photos in general. You can search up your name on Google and see what else comes up. You can see how many shirts you can put on all at the same time. Oh, it's getting really hot. Because you know, this is very helpful, especially for the cold seasons. You can play some card games. You can eat some more food if you aren't already eating more food. You can always practice getting into your hiding spots around the house so next time you play hide and seek, you just dominate. You can organize your desktop and delete useless files to free up space on your computer. You can prepare some cute quarantine Zoom date outfits. And while you're at it, you might as well try on all the clothes in your closet and create some new outfits so you look fresh coming out of quarantine. You can also learn how to code and maybe even take some online courses on C or JavaScript. At the same time, if you're going to be typing, you should learn how to properly type instead of just using your pointer fingers all the time. You can make your dogs try on everything in their closet since you spend so much money on their clothes in the first place and they barely even actually wear it. You can think about your crush if you have one. You can bother your sibling because that's basically the purpose of their existence. You can write a letter to your future self and maybe even talk about your current experience in quarantine because that would be cool to read in the future. You could learn a new language. You could go shopping on Amazon and buy some weirdly useful things. You can go for a run outside, just make sure you're two meters away from other people. You can pull an all-nighter, or at least try to. You can clean your very, very, very dirty mirror. And you can accidentally make a TikTok while you're cleaning your mirror. You can listen to some good music and jam out just like Lucky is in the back. You can take an online yoga class or follow a YouTube yoga class and do it by yourself or with your dog. You can make a to-do list of actual important chores you need to do around the house. You can learn how to play the guitar. You can find a good podcast so you have something to listen to while you're doing other chores. You can do tongue twisters. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he wood as much as he could and chuck as much wood. How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck he wood as much as he could and chuck as much wood. You can start a journal and start reflecting on what you did during the day or about any goals you want to achieve. You can call your friends. You can rearrange the furniture in your room or the furniture around your house. You can call your friend's horse. Hi, Sky. <laughs> You're so cute. You can cook something that isn't just instant noodles. You can clean up your room and get everything off of the floor. You can spend time with your pets and pet your pets. You can go outside and just enjoy some nature. You can take the time to update and polish your resume. You can try out some new hairstyles to spice up your look. You can hold your own graduation ceremony. You can learn how to play chess. You can play an online game. You can grab a tripod or your sister to help you take some photos. You can go online shopping. You can take some random personality quizzes. I am a Hawaiian pizza. You can order takeout food and support your local businesses. You can learn how to control a puppet and make it talk. You can start a messenger game with your friend. And if you use Facebook Messenger, they even have Cooking Mama. You can learn a TikTok dance. Head twice. Punch. Punch. Snap. Snap. Whatever you call this. Bye girl. You got to give me pokies. <laughs> Point. Point. Shrug. You can learn to do a backflip, emphasis on the you part, and not me. You can give yourself a massage by using a foam roller. You can take a nap, because yes, this is what taking a nap looks like. You can wash your hands while singing your ABCs or singing the happy birthday song. You can make a healthy smoothie with some fresh fruit or some frozen fruits. You can learn how to do a handstand, or I guess this is more of an elbow stand, but it's a start. If you're committed, you can dye your hair a different color or bleach it. 
You can count all the pennies you possibly have. You can print out your favorite photos of your friends and family. You can learn how to fold paper and make lots of origami cranes, like lots. You can make a photo wall in your room. You can delete all those whiteboard photos that you took during the semester but never actually looked at. You can start a scrapbook or add on to your old one. You can go through your email and clean it up and unsubscribe to websites you don't follow anymore. You can train your body to be more flexible and learn how to do the splits. You can take an IQ test online. You can learn how to juggle so you can impress all your friends and family when we can have parties again. You can practice your pickup lines. Hi. Are you diarrhea? What? Because <laughs> my love for you is like diarrhea because I can't hold it in. You can clear up your working space to get you more productive during the day. You can look up your ancestry through one of those websites. You can learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube since all you really need are the algorithms, which I clearly really haven't memorized. You can stay up to date with the news, like on Google News. You can pluck your eyebrows. You can teach your dog some new tricks or their old tricks. You can try and have a technology-free day. If you have a Nintendo Switch, you could play Animal Crossing, or if you don't, you could just watch some videos on YouTube about it. You can draw a picture or just make art with any watercolors or acrylic paint that you have. You can get organized and update your schedule. You can smell all your perfumes that you have and pick your favorite one to wear. If you really, really wanted to, you could cut your bangs, but just make sure you're super sure. You can watch a documentary on Netflix. You could start a new TV show. You could sit down and actually read a good book. You can create a new Spotify playlist to listen to. You can water the plants that are around your house. You can guard the house with your dog. You can sell your old textbooks from the semester. You can have a self-care day and put on a face mask. You can go on a walk outside by yourself or with your family. You can make a Pinterest board. You can try and fix your sleeping schedule. You can binge watch an entire Netflix series. You can learn how to tie your shoes, but not the regular way, the cooler way. You can paint your fingernails or your toenails. You can actually do homework for your online classes. You can make a YouTube video like I am. You can ride a penny board or a skateboard or anything that's similar to that. You can learn how to edit videos on your computer. You can do chores that you've just been avoiding. You could learn to play the piano or the keyboard or you can subscribe to my channel. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.